Hey there, Sharon here from Quick Base Junkie coming to you from my home office. The following video is all about navigation buttons, creating navigation buttons in your Quick Base to take you to where you want your users to be. These videos are taken directly out of a premium course called The Secrets of API Buttons. Welcome to Quick Base Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. The Secret of API Buttons is a premium course that I offer to my students that takes you through how to create API buttons in your QuickBase, which is awesome. So awesome. I've got lots of examples right here on YouTube that you can check out of exactly how you can use API buttons. Although I have to be frank, I don't show you the nitty gritty details of how to develop those formulas. That information, my friends, is in the course. And if you want to get into that course, head over to quickbasejunkie.com slash courses. The course, let me tell you, not only do I walk you through everything step by step, detail by detail, making what is, can be very confusing, actually very simple. Plus, I've got lots of downloads and cheat sheets, so you can literally copy and paste the code that I share and build with you directly into your own QuickBase. Uh, enjoy this video on navigation buttons. It will surely help you build out your QuickBases and make them even more awesome than they are today. Taking a look at our final set of navigation buttons, I've added four buttons here to go to a different page. Let's take a look at the first button. I've set this button up to go to the app homepage. It's as simple as the URL route followed by the DBID. Let's watch it in action. Right now you can see I'm on the task table, but when I click on the app home button, I'm now taken to the application homepage. Let's go back to our form. Let's look at the next button. This URL button is set up to take me to the table homepage for the same table that I'm on. So all I need is the action equals TD or table display. Let's click on the button. Now I'm still on the task table, but now I've been taken to the task homepage. Let's jump back to the form. Taking a look at our third button. I've set up this third button to go to a table homepage that's a different table. So not the homepage and not the table that I'm in. In this case, I'm using the documents table. This happens to not be a table that comes with this application when you download it from the app exchange. I added the documents table. So in this case, I can just use the table alias DBID documents followed by the action of table display. Now I'll click on the button and I'm taken to the documents table, which I haven't added any documents to yet. Let's go back and look at that last button. The last button is set up to go to a code page. The formula here uses the action DB page along with the page ID. Let's take a look. Now when I click on the button, I'm taken to the code page. In this case, I set up a simple code page that says thank you and includes a large button. This page is also an example of how you can take users outside of QuickBase. Regular URL buttons can only allow you to navigate within QuickBase. However, a code page like this with a button or hyperlink would allow you to take a user outside of QuickBase. For example, you might wanna take them to your company website. Let's go ahead and jump back So now you've seen 10 different types of navigations, whether it's going to a record, going to a report, or going to a page. Make sure you try some of these on your own. Now for our last matching game. Pause the video and match the page destination. Well, you know what to do. How was that? 
let's take a look at each of our page actions. We can display the app homepage. This is as simple as putting in the URL root and the DBID. Now this seems a bit odd because the DBID for each table is different. However, when you don't end with anything beyond the DBID, it will navigate to the home page of the application. Next, we can display the current table home page. This is the home page for the table that we are currently on. So we'll use the URL root and the DBID, followed by the action to display table or table display. Feels a little backwards to me too. We can also display a different table homepage. We do this simply by referring to the table alias and then that same action table display. Last, we can display a code page. This could be a regular code page, a alternative app homepage, or a rich text page. That'd be the URL route followed by the DBID. Again, this doesn't matter which DBID you use followed by a equals db page for the database page and the page ID for that specific page. And if you need a little help setting up your URL formula as a button, check out the video URL formula button setup. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now. Using the link below. Using the link below. Bye for now.